the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we were having the Bible study on the book of Judges and we have reached chapter 20. And we, the, so yesterday we reflected about the crime of Gibeah. It was so disgusting and it was so painful to see what happened in Gibeah. And Gibeah, the crime of Gibeah was this day, the man, a Levite, he even sacrificed, he gave away his concubine just to protect himself, allowed her to be tortured and abused and raped by the, the men of the town, the Gibeahs, and they tortured her to death. And then next day, this Levite cut her body into 12 pieces, limb by limb and then send it to each piece was sent to each tribe of Israel and all the tribes 12 tribes of Israel they all came to know the, the worst uh, thing that happened in Gibeah in the tribe of Benjamin and now what happened how did the others react let's read then all the Israelites came out from Dan to Beersheba including the land of Gilead and the congregation assembled in one body before the Lord at Mizpah. Though they had no kingship, there is no king, there is no leader, there is no devotion, there is no love of God, there is no fear of God. Everyone was doing as they want and there was total anarchy in the whole Israel. This incident made everyone to come together. And they came in front of God. They came to know there is need. They cannot tolerate the... They could not believe that there is a severe immorality, a severe evil has taken place in their community in the whole land of Israel. And that is why, just for the sake of maybe a crowd, crowd movement, a psychology of the crowd, everybody came out, out of, uh, it's like a um, mob psychology. They came together as if they all are the best and this is something, the only crime that happened in the Israel. But in fact, everyone was in sinful bondage. But this has touched their conscience. And therefore, they had to come out and they came out. Let's read verse 2. The chiefs of all the people, of all the tribes of Israel, presented themselves in the assembly of the people of God. 400,000 food soldiers bearing arms. So all these 400,000 food soldiers bearing arms, they came together. They knew there is, we need to do something. Verse 3. Now the Benjaminites heard that the people of Israel had gone up to Mizpah. The Benjaminites, the Gibeah is a place of Benjamin tribe. And all the Benjaminites came together. They knew there is the, all the rest of the 11 tribes are coming together against them. And the Israelites said, tell us how did this criminal act come about? The Israelites told them that the rest of the 11 tribes spoke to the Benjaminites and said, how come this happened in your tribe? And then verse 4, we read, the Levite, the husband of the woman who was murdered, answered, okay, the Israelites, first they came to the Levite, the man, the one who, who was um, sent the body parts to different tribes. The Israelites, they called the Levite because in the Deuteronomy it is mentioned, before you act, you should inquire the whole details and come to know what is right and wrong only then you should punish your own family members your own tribe members so that is why they called Levite and said what happened then he said he gave the whole narration of incident I came to Gibeah that belongs to Benjamin I and my concubine to spend the night verse 5 the lords of Gibeah rose up against me and surrounded the house at night they intended to kill me. They raped my concubine until she died. So he, he hid some of his facts, some of the facts that he, he was in willingly gave away the concubine to them so that they can rape. And he saved himself like this. So he, he hid those facts and he told all what happened. The lords of Gibeah rose up against me and surrounded the house at night. They intended to kill me and they raped my concubine until she died. Then I took my concubine and cut her into pieces and sent her throughout the whole extent of Israel's territory. For they have committed a vile outrage in Israel. So this is what he said. And verse 7, let's read. 
so now you israelites all of you give your advice and counsel here so tell me what shall we do give your house advice and counsel and then continue reading we read like this all the people got up as one saying everybody became one in one voice everyone said we will not any of us go to our tents nor will any of us return to our houses everyone was furious they became one otherwise they were all disintegrated but now for this case they all came together as one and was nine but now this is what we will do to gibea we will go up against it by lot we will take lot and one by one will go again against the gibea we don't we all don't need to go together we will go step by step because it's a small place and small tribe and was 10 we read we will take 10 men of 100 throughout all the tribes of israel that means every tribe has to give 10 percentage of the men and 100 of 1000 and 1000 of 10000 to bring provisions for the troops who are going to repay gibea of benjamin for all the disgrace that they have done in israel so they planned everything and was 11 <coughs> So all the men of Israel gathered against the city united as one they all became one and they united and they went against them verse 12 the tribes of Israel sent men through all the tribe of Benjamin saying what crime is this that has been committed among you so the tribes of Israel the 11 tribes sent a message to Benjamin and said what is this what why this happened and then verse 13 now then hand over those scoundrels in gibea so that we may put them to death and purge the evil from israel so find out those number maybe a small number of uh, people who have committed this crime find out these people who have done this crime and send these people to us we will kill them by doing so we will cleanse this purge from this evil from this israel but the benjaminites would not listen to their kin spoke the israelites but the benjaminites they stood for their brethren my dear brothers and sisters sometimes our tribe becomes more important than the god's law that is dangerous our community becomes more important than god's law i have seen many in in india and many other places their caste system becomes more important than the law of god sometimes even the linguistic group becomes more important than the law of god sometimes the nationality becomes more important than the law of god sometimes the color of the skin becomes more important than the law of god that is terrible evil that should not be because our citizenship is in heaven we know from the word of god we read from the philippians chapter 2 3 verse 20 but our citizenship is in heaven we all belong to one country one kingdom all the other caste all the race all the nationality linguistic groups everything is secondary when it comes to the evil we should forget the evil get rid of the evil from our place just because he is one of our family members we should never protect the evil one or evil thing and justify the evil one so here the benjaminites they protected these evil people who did such a terrible evil in that community and they were ready to defend for their brothers who were committed sins not ready to repent of their sin they did not rectify the sin that happened in that family praise the lord praise the lord so now then hand over those con- okay let's read verse 14 the benjamines came together out of the towns to gibea to go out to the battle against the israelites they decided to fight against israelites verse 15 we read on that day the benjaminites mustered 26000 armed men from their own towns beside the inhabitants of gibea there were more than 26000 armed people benjaminites 26000 people they came together to fight defend their place tribe was 16 of all these force there were 700 picked men who were left handed everyone could sling a stone at a hair and not miss so they were very experts in slinging and every expert warriors warriors of the fight of war so they all came together was was 17 and the israelites apart from benjamin mustered 400000 they were only 26000 but here they were 400000 armed men all of them were warriors 
forum. 400 one side, only 26,000 one other side. So that is why they didn't desire to all 400,000 to come and attack, but they thought one by one. First one tribe goes and fight, another tribe goes first fight. So that was the plan that they had. Verse 18. We read, the Israelites proceeded to go up to Bethel, where they inquired of God, which of us shall go up first to battle against the Benjaminites? And the Lord answered, Judah shall go up first. So they came and asked God. For the first time, they are inquiring in front of God. We don't know how they inquired, who answered, who decided, which prophet. Nothing is mentioned here. But they say they inquired of God and God said, God, Judah go first. And we don't know whether it is coming from God or is there any other plan God had. First of all, we remember it is not only Benjaminites who are committed sin, only this sin is highlighted, but all of them were sinful. All of them were in anarchy. All of them were in sea evil bondages. And therefore, let's see what happens to them. Verse 19. Then the Israelites got up in the morning and encamped against Gibeah. And verse 20. Then the Israelites went out to battle against Benjamin and the Israelites drew up the battle line against them at Gibeah. At Gibeah they came against the Benjaminites. The Benjaminites came out of Gibeah and struck down on that day 22,000 of the Israelites. The Benjaminites won the battle. 22,000 of the Israelites were killed. The 11 tribes, army of the 11 tribes and this is one small Benjaminites. And let's read verse 22. They are, these are brothers. The Israelites took courage and again formed the battle in line in the same place where they had formed it on the first day. The second day they came again in the same place because they took courage. And verse 23. The Israelites went up and wept before the Lord until the evening. And they inquired of the Lord, Shall we again draw near to battle against our kinsfolk, the Benjaminites? And the Lord said, Go up against them. Yes, go. Once again go the second day and then we read verse 24 so the Israelites advanced against the Benjaminites the second day Benjamin moved out against them from Gibeah the second day and struck down 18,000 of the Israelites all of them armed men now 18,000 were killed again they were defeated it is you know it looks like God told them go and they were defeated and verse 26 then all the Israelites, the whole army went back to Bethel and wept sitting there before the Lord. They fasted that day until evening. Then they offered burnt offerings and sacrifices well being before the Lord. And then verse 26, 7. And the Israelites inquired of the Lord for the ark of the covenant of God was there in those days. Was, and the Phinehas, the son of Elias, the son of Aaron ministered before it in those days saying, Shall we go out once more to battle against our kinsfolk, the Benjaminites, or shall we desist the lord answered go up for tomorrow i will give them into your hand my dear brothers and sisters how come when god said in the first two days you go go and all two days they were defeated they were killed and the third day god said don't worry tomorrow i will hand over them and in fact on the third day benjaminites were killed they were destroyed why did it happen there are two reasons there are many there are reasons first reason it is not only Benjaminites were sinful, even these two, these group also were sinful. God wanted to teach a lesson, not only the Benjaminites, but also these 11 troops. And through these incidents, God was improving them. If you have noticed, once again, let us see, verse 19 onwards. Let's see the attitude of these 11, 11 tribes. Then the Israelites got up in the morning and encamped against the Gibeah. Uh, 18, verse 18, let's read. First time, all these 11 groups, they came in front of God. They inquired of God. There is no mention about their repentance. There is no mention about their penances. There is no mention about fasting, nothing. They just come and say, Lord, who should go? Then God said, okay, Judah go. And then they were defeated. And now let's read verse nine, uh, 20. The Phine uh, verse 20, the Israelites went out to battle against Benjamin and the Israelites drew up the battle line against them at ben ben Gibeah. Verse 21, the Benjaminites came out and they were killed. Verse 22, the Israelites took courage and again formed the battle line in the same place where they had formed in the first day. 23, 
Israel went up and wept before the Lord until the evening and then inquired. First day, they just came and asked God, whom shall go? Then God said, Judah. They were defeated. Second time, they wept. For the first time after a long time, they are weeping in front of God and say, Lord, please help us. They are depending on God more. Second time. They wept in front of the Lord. And the whole day until evening, and then God in front of the Lord. Lord said, God, don't worry, go against them. Even this second time also they were defeated. Let's read what happened. The third time when they came to the Lord, how, what did they do? Let's read. And the Israelites, the whole, whole army, went back to Bethel and wept sitting there before the Lord. They fasted that day until evening. Then they offered burnt offerings, sacrifices of well-being. See, first day they just inquired. Second day they wept the whole day. Third time, they fasted, they wept, they cried, they offered offerings. They, they did even penances for their sins. That is called burnt offering, means sin offering. They offered of offerings for their sins. That means they repented of their sins and begged in front of God, forgiveness. And then they went for battle, they were victorious. My dear brothers and sisters, God, for God, God loves Benjaminites and all these 11 tribes. For the, through the incidents in our daily life, God is not only teaching others lesson, teaching you also lesson. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So God was purifying them. The Lord understood. They are ready to go for battle against an evil that committed, uh, Benjamin committed. But at the same time, they themselves are in evil. Therefore, God wanted to purify not only Benjaminites, but also God wanted to purify these 11 tribes. That is why they went and they were defeated. Twice. And on the third time, they really repented and begged in front of God and begged forgive and burned offerings and sin offering and well-being offering. And then they went and they came out victorious. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Let's read verse 23. We read like this, verse 23. The Israelites went up and wept before the Lord until the evening and they inquired of the Lord, shall we go again draw near to battle against our king's folk? And the Lord said, go up against them. Verse 24. So the Israelites advanced against Benjamin as the second day. Verse 25. Benjamin moved out. Okay, let's read verse 28. Go up tomorrow. I will give them into your hand tomorrow. Praise the Lord. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's close our eyes and sing together the offertory hymn.